probably one of the best meteor showers of the year. Every August around this time, the Perseids meteor shower strikes through our skies and puts on a show. This year, that's coinciding with a smaller moon, meaning on a clear night, you're likely to get a better view than the past couple of years. Lots of photos to be found on social media, but Jenna Hines of the Royal Astronomical Society of Canada says nothing beats seeing it for yourself. This one is caused by one specific comet that has passed by our orbit, the Earth's orbit, and that comet is Comet Swift-Tuttle. Um, it passes by every 132 years. The last pass was in 1992. Leaves a whole bunch of debris left behind in space. And as the Earth passes through that debris, the debris hits the atmosphere, lights up, um, burns up, and that's what gets our meteors. If I'm standing yeah. at Lake Ontario and I'm looking out of the water with my back to the city, where should I be like orienting myself to try and spot some of these things? Anywhere other than north is a good view and anywhere with like a big view of the sky. So you're absolutely right. Shoreline of Toronto, um, great spot to look for it because you're looking south, east and west. It's just fun to watch. Stuart Heggie is a recreational astronomer who goes all out. He's running two observatories southwest of the GTA where he's been capturing stunning images like these. There are two telescopes in each of the two observatories. So these images are all taken uh, one at a time, red, green, blue, unfiltered, specialized, narrowband filters, and then assembled in post-production into a color image. So I'll take you over to the dome and show you what that looks like. All right, so the dome is opening. Uh, two telescopes. There's a big one, and then this small one here is my third rig. And Stuart has some good news. You don't need this kind of equipment to snap some sharp-looking images of the Perseids. But I'll be out in a lawn chair with binoculars or just uh, enjoying the night sky, or in most cases, I'll set up a camera on a tripod with a fisheye lens or something. If, if we're running into the debris of the comet, uh, is there ever a chance that we have to worry about running into the, the comet? That's a good question. Um, this comet, I believe there is not a chance that we're going to hit it. Both astronomers warn the show tends to get better later into the night and even early morning, but also say this particular meteor shower is bright enough to be seen in the city and will likely be worth the wait, especially if you're thinking of making it a family event. It may not be the most ideal time for your kids to go out, but it's a great excuse to get out and see the stars. The show started peaking Wednesday night with the best continuing until Friday, which puts us in the peak of the peak for tonight. In Oakville, David Zura, City News.